Hello, my name is uh, Uwe Forsberg here at IDCOM. Today I'd like to talk about shutdowns. Uh, do you have shutdowns and turnarounds with budget overruns, delayed startups, and work that is not completed as planned? What you need is a strategy to solve those problems. We like to divide a shutdown up in six phases, um, and, and this is the solution in trying to figure out what you're going to do in each phase, and in this case, six phases. And this is what we call the shutdown turner optimization process. Uh, you also need a simple tool to guide the process, and, and that's going to be your countdown schedule, which give you, you know, dates, uh, how far ahead of the shutdown are you going to prepare certain parts of the process and usually you want to put in responsibilities and, and accountability and who is responsible. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, different phases here. Let's start with the strategy phase. You know, why do we actually have a shutdown? That sounds like, very, like a very obvious question, but uh, many times we can actually move shutdowns or question the uh, duration or the frequency of a shutdown and then improve that over time. So the business drivers for the shutdown is important. You know, also determining the budget, uh, what organization we're going to have in place, and what policies needs to be set for the uh, shutdown. The next phase is the work list phase. So what is the scope of the shutdown? We only want to do the right work, as we call it. Uh, and that's usually done by risk-based work selection process. So we do a risk assessment, and I'm going to give an example of that a little later here. Uh, then we have the planning phase. How are we going to do it? What's the details, job steps that we can plan? Uh, and also those job plans need to be reviewed by management to show that these are important uh, documents for actually doing the job. Uh, next phase is the scheduling phase. When are we going to do it and who's going to do it? Uh, an important uh, part there is to integrate the schedule, especially between engineering, maintenance, and operation. That also should be part of the phase where we start to look at the resource capacity and even at the workload for people and, uh, and different categories of craftspeople and contractors. Then we have the execution phase. Uh, we'll, we'll just do it. Well, we can say that, but in this uh, phase, of course, it's very important that we get everything to work uh, very seamlessly you know, prepared equipment, do we have progress meetings set up, uh, when you have scope creep, how do we manage that, and if something actually is starting to take longer, and especially on the uh, critical path, what are we going to do, do we have the right people to make quick decisions to make sure we stay on track. And of course, we should always record all the work so we have good history in the end. And then the last uh, phase here is the critique phase. So again, we want to have lessons learned. We want to have an open forum for everybody to give input on can improve. And of course, we want to take those improvement suggestions and see how we can integrate it to improve the next shutdown or turnaround. So a few of the uh, uh, conclusions here based on the shutdown turnaround optimization process, so the S-top conclusions. We need full support by senior management. Uh, we need to have integrated support between the different departments and not work in silos. Using the proven methodologies or processes here or best practices, and they have to be accepted, of course, by everybody. Uh, implementation needs to follow well-coordinated strategy with well-defined KPIs, roles, and responsibilities. And you could actually say, we're going to audit the process as we go to make sure that it gets done. But if you have a countdown schedule, you can actually follow up on all the activity and that they are actually completed in a timely manner as the process was set up. And we normally see here at Idcon, so we can obtain quick wins between four to six months with this process and basically close 50 to 75% of the gap within the next 18 to 24 months for an annual outage or turnaround. And by the way, my next video is about how to use risk-based work selection method for your next shutdown. Please watch that.